Hello, I'm Dr. Vicki Peterson. Welcome. I wanted to share with you today some two new breakthroughs in the area of autoimmune disease. Autoimmune disease is something we talk about a lot uh, because we have great success treating it here at Root Cause Medical Clinic. And that's pretty exciting because when you're diagnosed with autoimmune, you're pretty much told there's nothing you can do other than take medications that have some pretty scary side effects. So anytime there's a, a breakthrough in nutrition, I, I wanna tell you about it. So the first one was a 13-month uh, trial done with individuals. It was a controlled trial and it was, um, Double blind, yeah, it was a randomized controlled trial. And what they did was um, they had a group with uh, rheumatoid arthritis, so that was the autoimmune disease they were looking at. And then they had a group where they changed their diet. So um, out of the 13 months for three and a half months, uh, people were on a fully plant-based diet. And then for the rest of the trial, they were on a lacto-vegetarian diet. And over the course of that time, the control group noticed no improvement in their rheumatoid arthritis, not surprisingly, um, but the plant-based group noticed big changes. So their pain numbers went down, their inflammation, um, their stiffness went down, uh, their ability to move increased, they felt overall just healthier. Their blood values showed decreased inflammation and they lost weight on average 13 pounds. So there was a lot of good changes uh, that they saw and they attributed this to the fact that a plant-based diet removing the meat was really taking down the inflammatory factors that we get from animal-based products. And then of course, a healthy plant-based diet is increasing your anti-inflammatory with all the phytonutrients and antioxidants found in fruits and vegetables, beans, legumes, etc. So uh, it's something that we really push here as far as a plant-based diet, depending on the individual. I prefer a plant-based diet, it's not for everyone, but if someone comes in and uh, they have autoimmune disease, they're pretty scared about the, not only the side effects of the drugs that they're on, but knowing that when you have one autoimmune disease, you're anywhere from three to 10 times more likely to get another, they really wanna stop that in its tracks. And, and when they're ready, then we do an aggressive protocol and we've seen great results going to the plant-based diet and taking down the inflammatory factors that are found in uh, animal products. So we see that clinically, but I thought it was really fun to share this study with you because uh, it was a good long study, 13 months, and uh, the patients with rheumatoid arthritis not only felt better from uh, pain and swelling and range of motion, but their blood values improved as well. So that was exciting. And then the second point I wanted to go over with you has to do with salt. So um, I had I'd been reading studies about salt and, and inflammation and the fact that um, high salt levels tend to raise the production of an immune helper cell, it's called TH17. And immune and helper, that makes it sound good, but unfortunately the TH17 tends to um, get the immune system in a hypervigilant state, which moves you more toward autoimmune tendencies. So it kind of helps too much, if you will. So it's called a TH17 immune cell, and it's linked with autoimmune disease. So what they found was that uh, they, they looked at patients with MS, and uh, those that had the highest sodium uh, in their diet, in their blood, had uh, three times the rate of uh, exacerbations of their MS and uh, when they looked a little deeper they found this link with the TH17 immune cell which makes a lot of sense so uh, I will admit that I'm a salt lover and so I was like oh something else I have to <laughs> have to change but I did a little more research and and found that even though I do like to put salt on my food um, what we're really looking at is the traditional American diet and the fast food and the processed food. And fast food and processed food has a, up to 100 times more salt than homemade food. So I actually, you know, I, I'm, I'm half Italian, so we, we kind of are a little free free flowing when we cook. And um, But I started to actually look at how much salt I was putting in for a meal of you know four or five adults, and, and it really wasn't that much. But um, so I like to use salt. But when I compared it, I realized, oh, okay, where this is nothing compared to what's in processed food and fast food. So. Um, 
So this other link is looking at the highly processed fast food with this high salt uh, component and the fact that that is inflaming uh, the immune system and pushing you more toward autoimmune disease. So uh, I hope you uh, found this interesting as far as looking at diet and its link to autoimmune. We've certainly seen it here at Root Cause Medical for decades already, um, but research that supports it is, is always nice to see. We see it clinically with our patients, but the research studies are great. So what I want you to do is if you have autoimmune disease in your family or if you're suffering from autoimmune disease, please reach out because I want to offer you a free consultation. Whether you're local to us here in Sunnyvale, California, or if you're at a distance, we can still help. We are a destination clinic. We see patients from across the country, a little bit internationally, but mostly uh, US wide. So um, I'm be more than happy to help you because the way autoimmune disease is treated uh, with traditional medicine is not getting to the root cause at all. It's not getting to the reason why the immune system is attacking a part of your body. And that's not a hard thing to do. It's pretty exciting. And we do see reversal. We see Hashimoto's reversal, rheumatoid arthritis, and anything on the spectrum from feeling better, less medication, the values in the blood don't even show you have autoimmune disease anymore. So there is that spectrum, but it's so worth it to feel better. I mean, autoimmune disease is really taking its toll on Americans and it's starting younger and younger in our society. So if your health is not the way you want it to be, please reach out. Uh, give me a call at the clinic 408-733-0400 or you can reach out via the website which is rootcausemedical.com. Please share this video. Uh, let me know your questions. I've got to say that I love my subscribers and my viewers. You guys are so smart. Keep me on my toes. You ask great questions and I want to hear from you more and more because that's why I'm here. So here at Root Cause, we help the world's busiest people regain, retain, and reclaim their health, their energy, and their resilience. And I'd love to help you. I'll see you soon.